Hi, I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with episode number 251 of Ask Dave. This is not a reference station video, but rather a video about a radio that's available from India that is now in its sixth iteration. This is an earlier iteration of the radio. This is the Micro BITX available from hfsigs.com and they sell it without a case. Well, <laughs> I didn't have a case, so I borrowed my wife's muffin pin. Borrowed, I say. This is what it looks like now. You can get it with a case, um, and this is with the standard software that's in it. Uh, it's designed to be open source and all that sort of thing, and it says that you can assemble it in an hour with a screwdriver. Well, let's find that out. Let's uh, take a look at that because it did take me an hour, although I think it did take me more than a screwdriver. This is speeded up by a factor of 10, so it only takes us a few minutes to go with it. It's well packed as it comes across. That, oddly enough, is a Baofeng microphone that comes with it. They've got all the little parts and pieces here, and you don't have to do any soldering at all. Now, I note that they give you far too much hardware. If you take a look at that little bag of screws, that's way more than you're going to need. And that little roll-up of connectors there are not used at all. So we're going to uh, build the case. First, we have to do is take it apart because that's where they have put the, uh, the piece itself. Note that this case really comes apart. It's a rather interesting construction of a case, highly specific to this. The, the board is completely built. Now, you have to take the little doohinkies off the uh, plugs there. Note that what used to be separate are now all mounted on the board. The earphone jacks, the uh, controls, everything like that. And it makes it a lot easier to assemble. So now we're going to put this in. One of the problems with this many screws is trying to figure out, okay, which ones go where? But uh, we did manage to figure it out. Um, the key was to get the um, board in there the right way with uh, the screws getting those little screws in there i have big fat hands it's hard to get them in but i got them in i used uh, needle nose pliers to to kind of set them down in there and finally got them all built uh, they do include the knobs and stuff that other little printed circuit board is the display that goes there now this uh, case has to be built um, and they've got uh, the bottom and sides, the front separate from the back, separate from the top. Now, uh, I have gone ahead and put in the screws all the way and then found out that I had to uh, kind of adjust things a little bit to make it go in because the top wouldn't quite fit on. And notice all those screws that are there. Now, the back... Um, easy to put the bottom part. It has a BNC connector, which I don't really like. I, uh, you know, I may take it out and put an SO239 in it because everything I have is SO239. I know QRP is supposed to be BNC, but the fact of the matter is it's a royal pain. What I'm doing now is looking online for the instructions. Uh, they're actually fairly simple. So now we're going to uh, put that little uh, not, uh, nut over the, uh, that's the, the, the tuning knob right there. And now we're going to put that, uh, um, put that display board in there. And I'm very carefully checking against the photographs to make sure that's in there right. Now he has taken out some of the extraneous wires. Uh, on that harness. This was a little bit fun right here figuring this out because this actually takes really 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 tiny little screws and if you use any of the others it just won't won't go in there properly. I had to use a little jeweler screwdriver and I don't know why I have so many extra screws and everything but that's what came. The thing costs two hundred dollars from HF Sigs. That's HF SIGS.com. It's in India. If you spend an extra $10, you can get DHL shipping, which will get it to you several weeks earlier than if you do it with the free shipping, which is through India Post. Now, um, I'm putting the knobs in here. 
Um, and uh, we lost our focus for just a moment. It'll come right back. Um, I used a flashlight so I could look at the difficult things. This USB connector that's on here is for changing or modifying the software, which is not for the faint of heart. I went ahead and put it in there. I intend to keep the standard software. Now, I'm not so sure about that extra nut on the back of the um, BNC connector. Now here, notice I used some tape to hold those screws in place so I could turn that upside down, put the speaker on it, put the little nuts on the speaker, and uh, put them in the proper position and uh, get them all tightened up. Now I made a mistake when I first attached the speaker. I attached it to the wrong connector um, and then wondered why there was no sound. You always have that sinking feeling when you turn it on and there's no sound. Oh, I got to enjoy that. But uh, after we get this in place, then um, we'll put this onto the top of the assembly here. We're actually getting close to the end of the assembly. You'll see there hasn't been any soldering. There's more than adequate hardware for everything. The instructions, as thin as they are, now see I put that on the wrong corner. It should be up in the corner by the, uh, um, by the uh, volume knob. And uh, now here I couldn't quite get the thing in, so I had to slightly unscrew uh, the cases, the, the front and the back, so I could get this top fit in there um, uh, with the speaker on it. The speaker works just fine. And uh, there it is. We're getting very close to finished. He has even included feet on the uh, kit. The... Uh, thing does not quite sit perfectly level. Uh, I think there must be some warping that I did uh, to different things. This is the test setup. I have uh, battery operated on the radio, uh, the MFJ watt meter, and a Heath Cantenna uh, right there. I had a heck of a time with my cables uh, getting good readings out of this. If you look at the front of the micro BITX, you've got the volume knob on the left, then the mic input, then the earphone input, and underneath the frequency and menu change knob uh, is where the key goes in. And I've got it set up to accept a straight key. So now let's look at what we get on the different bands. Okay, here's 80 meters, 11.14 watts. That is, with key down, and the, the, it varies widely by band. Let's take a look at 40 meters. We're down here to 5.16 watts out. Here's 30 meters uh, with uh, 8.97 or 9 watts out. It's gone up. Interesting. Okay, here's 20 meters, 14.134, uh, 6 watts key down. Here's 17 meters, 4.6 watts, key down. 15 meters is 6.21 watts. And here's 10 meters, I am sorry, I skipped 12 meters. Here's 10 meters with three watts out. I don't know why the power should vary so much across the bands, but this is my experience with it. Alrighty, there you go, a very quick look at the uh, BITX. Um, this is version 6.1 now. Um, it's designed to be an open source project and therefore played with. Okay, and the board is uh, not very tightly packed. It's in fact rather opposite the boards we get from QRP Labs. This is really spread out, but it's all made for you. It does use surface mount components. Um, and it is got ready features for programmability if you want to play with the many different kinds of software available at groups.io. I'll put the URL uh, down here. You'll need to join the group and then after you join there are literally 20,000 plus messages on there. You can search for almost anything. Make sure that you're using the right version of the software. Uh, the guy who developed this, Ashar Farhan, a uh, well-known Indian ham uh, from India, India from India, um, put this thing together. Um, I was disappointed by the power output, um, but 
actually in previous editions, if you wanted more power out, you needed to put 24 volts DC to the finals and not the 12 that are here. So there you have it. The Micro BITX, our next video, is going to take a look at a couple antennas that are candidates to be the reference antenna for the reference station. Until we next meet, 73.